Well, hey, hey, you know when you're cooking meat especially, how do you know that it's actually done all the way? Not when you're having a steak. There's plenty of people who have it medium rare all the way to well done. But what temperature range is that? Now other things you really have to have done. So if they don't reach the temperature, like if you were trying to make chicken and you didn't reach the temperature, you and your family could get sick. This is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. And today we're talking about meat thermometers. That's right, meat thermometers. Now I have to tell you one of my pet peeves about meat thermometers is they have batteries in them. I don't like it. You know, you haven't used it for a while. You go into your um, drawer to get it because you're cooking something and the batteries are dead. Sometimes you don't have those batteries that fit. And I don't like it. So this one, and they did send this to me. So this is a paid thing, but they're also sent me two of them so I can give one away. So I think it's worth it. Okay, this one literally plugs into my computer and I have used it and used it and used it and used it over the last two weeks. And I did plug it in today so you could see that in this video, but I didn't need to. It still had plenty, plenty of charge, probably 90 some percent charge. But what am I doing to test it on this video? Then you can choose for yourself. I'm gonna give you a discount code and I'm gonna tell you at the end how you can win one. I'm starting out with four chickens, whole chickens, that um, I'm gonna smoke. So they're gonna smoke for six hours. Then they're going into the oven and I'm gonna bake them. And I'll show you the exact temperature that chicken is supposed to be. Then I let them cool. Then I pulled them all apart. And I'm gonna show you all the steps I did because I went from the chicken that we smoked all the way to dinner. I made broth. I'm gonna show you how I do that, how I check the temperature, because it is so important when you're cooking for yourself, for friends, for family, that you don't give them certain foods that are undercooked. Now I have to tell you, I've kind of become obsessed with what temperature things are because I've been using this thermometer. And so I'm gonna do another video. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you just all those crazy things I use that thermometer for so I would know what the temperature was. But let's go smoke some chicken. First to look at the thermometer and it just plugs into my computer um, that has they have four different colors and you can see there's plenty of battery you press it it takes just a, a second or two and it tells you the, th the temperature on the thermometer 83.3.1 I actually was, have been holding it so it's a little warmer than what it actually is it'll go down to about 79 so I'm smoking four whole chickens and I'm going to smoke them for about six hours with some apple and it just makes a great flavor when they came out i put them in a couple pans with some water they're going to go into the oven 350 degrees probably about an hour and a half two hours and that just depends on the size of your oven how it runs right now it's at 153 so that is not warm enough yet it has to be 165 when it Finally got to the temperature, I took them out. Beautiful chickens. And I know certainty, certainty, they're done. So I let them cool and I'm just pulling them apart. I'm putting all the skins and the bones in a big stock pot so that I can heat them up. And I actually brought that to a boil. And it's a, the boil was about 185. It's just about that still. I um, took it off the burner. Now I like to store the chicken fat after it forms on the top in the refrigerator for hash browns. Now it's very hot. It's about 165 to 170 degrees and I'm going to pour it in my canning jars. I have pints and quarts actually. And I'm gonna use my pressure canner 
because with chicken broth or chicken soup, you're always using your pressure canner. And I will actually can this for about an hour. And so the two different canning pro um, pressure canners will get done in about an hour. This is the one you can win. The sleeve is blue. Mine is orange because I like orange. <laughs> so that's the one I cap. But it's, it's nice because it has a little booklet in there, tells you the exact temperatures of meat on what they should be. Don't be cooking pork and not cook it long enough and then your family gets sick. This is my chicken broth. Look at the jars. That's right, I forgot to put vinegar in the water, so now I have to scrub these jars. It's a predicament. I mean, it's not like you, you can't just scrub it off, but you, you don't need to. If you put vinegar in your water, when you're water bathing or pressure canning, that outside water, you never get this film. I don't know what I was thinking. I, it didn't even pop into my brain to put vinegar in there. And I have canned this summer. It's not like I haven't canned for a while. Here is the discount code and the link to go to. And then use the discount code so you get 15% off, which was real nice of them to do. They didn't have to do that. It was nice of them to send me an extra one so that I could give it away. And so I appreciate it and I love it. I've had a lot of thermometers in my years, but I have to say it is so convenient plugging it into my computer. It lasts so long. Yeah, I like it. How can you win it? 18 years or older, live in the continental United States, be a subscriber. That means a subscriber of my channel. Yeah, that's right. You press that subscribe button and you become a subscriber. And you never, ever unsubscribe. <laughs> never. Because why would you? You can learn so many things at Suburban Homestead or Wyoming, Arizona. That's right. That's right, everybody. I'm in my kitchen. And it is crazy. Because we're giving one of those away. Just leave a comment in this video and next week I'll draw. Next week I'll also have the video on how I tried, I mean, all kinds of things from cold things to hot things to warm things because I wanted to know the temperature. I'm seriously obsessed with temperatures right now. Chef's temp, thanks so much for the th thermometer. I absolutely love it. Subscribers, viewers, members, check them out. And you know, any, anybody who cooks needs a good thermometer. And when you find one, you share it with your friends, your family, because you want them to have a great thermometer too. So that's what I'm doing. Next week, I'll draw. Are you gonna be that lucky winner? Hmm, I hope so. See you next time.